Our next step is to make the login page and start our membership. So the first thing we'll do is add a new item to our project, call it login, and then put, oh let's see, let's put a title on this page. And then we'll drop a login control on here. And then we'll start this. Actually, we won't start it. We will go here and talk to Rob to start setting up our membership stuff. But we're going to encounter an error, and I'm going to show you this and then show you how to fix it. This is the first time I've seen this, but we'll get it documented here just in case we need to, in case you ever run into it again. So we'll say administer website. We'll come here and try to start the security wizard. Oh, you know, starting up okay. So let's just ignore everything else I said. Start the security wizard. We'll say next. Walk our way through here. We'll say from the internet. And then we are going to define roles. I'm going to make a login for Scott, and then we'll also make a role for um, employees. And then we'll come here and make a login for Scott. You know what, let's just make, we'll make mine now, we can make Scott's. Oh, you know what? Uh, yeah, let's just make mine now, because, you know, when we move this out to the Internet, we'll, uh, have to make new accounts there anyway on the, on the Internet. Okay, so we'll create the user. Oh, I guess you have to put an email. Okay, then uh, I'm just going to make one other uh, one here. We'll just call it Joe. So I can have one person be in the staff and we'll check out the staff accounts. Okay, then we'll go to next, and we'll come here and go to the admin folder, and we'll say anonymous users deny, we'll add this rule, and then we'll say employees allow we'll also say user Tony allow okay and we'll go next here and finish okay so we can close this now and then test it out let's uh, be on the edit product page. Let's check. You said it made some changes to our web config here. Oh yeah, because we changed web config when we were in the uh, in the web administration tool there. So okay, so let's test this out. Test our security. Since it's in the admin folder, we should have to log in. So it should take us right to the login page. Good. So username Tony. Login. 
good that works and then let's uh, we'll log out and then try the same thing but this time we'll sorry got a problem with my browser that's why that error message keeps popping up now we'll try to log in as Joe Okay, so that works for both Tony, who has direct permissions, and Joe, who is an employee. Okay, so that's the end of setting up the, the start of setting up membership and logins.